Hello, my dear Sunshines! Ao here. In today's video, we will have another product review, which is the Mermaid Brushes. If you want to know how I made this look using these brushes, please keep on watching! So this brush is a set of 10 brushes with a silicone sponge. So let's start with silicone sponge. This is my first time to be using this silicone sponge and I'm not sure if tatanggalin ko pa ba yung plastic niya. As you can see, ayan siya o, oh, meron siyang plastic. Hindi ako sure kung tatanggalin ko pa ba siya, but I will use it with the plastic on. So these are the brushes. Ayan siya, nagamit ko na siya. Ayan. And we have 10 brushes and all of them I think are for eyes. So wala akong brushes for the face. Kaya gagamitin natin some of these brushes para sa mukha natin para lang to make use of it. And I wish na magagamit ko lahat ng brushes na ito sa aking eye makeup and also na din sa aking mukha. So let's start with this silicone sponge and I'll be using the Time Wise Mary Kay in the shade Beige 2. So I am not sure if it will work. No. So this will be my first time to use this and let's see. So ayan siya. Konti muna. We are going to put on this side of my face. Okay. So... Okay. Okay, so as you can see, hindi siya ina-absorb ng silicone. So, lahat ng product ay napupunta sa mukha ko. So, mahirap siyang i-blend. And at the first, nagkakaroon siya ng streaks kahit hindi naman siya brush. Yung kapag gaganyan mo siya, sumusunod lang yung product. But, if I press it like this, na-absorb talaga siya lahat sa face ko. Okay, so this silicone sponge ay yes, um, tipid tayo sa ating foundation, sa ating creams dito. As you can see, tignan nyo. Hindi niya na-absorb ang product and so, nasa mukha ko lahat. At ito ang ginawa niya. As you can see, i-obvious masyado ang aking pores kasi nagsiset siya sa aking ilong at hindi niya nahahide ang pores ko dahil dito sa silicone sponge. Ayan. So, hindi niya maibiblend. Ang, ang magagawa mo lang talaga dito sa silicone sponge ay dab ng ganyan. At kung ano yung andyan sa mukha mo, yun na agad ang, ang nailalagay na product. If you do like this, if you do it like this, nililipat niya lang din yung product pa taas or kung anong direction nyo uh, pinahid yung silicone sponge. So, dewy siya masyado, no? So, parang uh, feeling ko malagkit siya sa sa face ko kahit hindi naman sana malagkit yung um, aking foundation. And so, hihingi tayo ng tulong dito sa Anclutes sponge kung magiging okay ba siyang tignan. So, ayan. So, if you just can see it, na wala na yung namumuong foundation dito na nag-set sa ilong ko banda. So, it's really nice if you use a sponge on this. Alright. So, let's move on. Since 
all of these brushes are for the eyes. So, hahanap na lang ako ng pwedeng gamitin sa face. And, magka-concealer na tayo sa under eye area. And, highlight on the T-zone, pati na din sa blemishes. And, I will use this, this brush kasi sa tingin ko, pwede siyang pang-contour. So, just try. Kasi medyo malapad siya. Kaya, pwede natin siyang gamitin as contour brush. Pero, if you compare it to the contour brush itself, maliit lang ito. Alright, so I think it did work as a concealer brush. Um, naliliitan lang ako kasi usually ang ginaga ginagamit ko para sa concealer is still sponge to really dab it on my face. Pero, this one, okay naman siya. It did work and wala naman na mumuong streaks. So, na-blend niya naman niya ng maayos ang concealer. Kaya, I think it's okay. Alright, so magbe-bake tayo. I will use this Air Spawn Loose Powder. I'll just put it on this area. And we will leave it there. Okay, so we're now moving on in our kilay. So I'll be using this very small, flat, angled brush na parang almost pwede na siya sa pangkilay pero dapat mas maliit pa sana dito yung pangkilay but we will just try it okay so nahihirapan akong kumuha ng kulay or ng shadow ng eyebrow tingnan nyo Halos hindi niya nakukuha ang product. So, mm, look at that. Nawawala agad, but we have to do this. Alright, for the eyebrow, I think it did work. Pero ang hirap at ang tagal niyang gawin kasi unlike the talagang eyebrow brushes na ganito. Hindi siya gaano nakakakuha ng kulay but as you can see, ang dami niya ng kulay sa brush. Hindi niya natatransfer agad yung product dito sa eyebrows. At as you can see, ang pangit yung tignan. Hindi pantay ang kulay but gawa natin ng paraan. Lilinisan natin yan gamit ang concealer. And I'll be using another brush. Ito. So, mas maliit siya kesa doon kanina sa concealer brush na ginamit natin. So, I'll just put it here and here. And we'll see if gaganda ba yung ating eyebrows kapag narinisa natin ng concealer. Alright, so I think it did work. Naging okay naman yung eyebrows ko after I cleaned it with concealer. So, let's now move on with our eye makeup. Since we have these mermaid brushes, gagawa din tayo ng kulay na kagaya ng kulay dito sa handle ng ating mermaid brush. Okay, so let's start with the base. Um, I'll get this pinaka lightest color sa aking Jaclyn Hill palette. So, kapag hahawakan kasi natin ang brushes, no, tingnan nyo, mararamdaman mo talaga na it's synthetic. So, I am not really sure kung mahahawakan niya or kakapit sa kanya ang kulay ng ating palette. Since very pigmented ang palette na to, so we'll try. 
Tignan nyo. If you can see it. Parang hindi nalagyan ng product. But, we'll see. Okay, so meron naman. Okay, so I think meron naman siya, pero matagal at konti lang. Alright, so after that, kukunin ko itong brightest color ng pink, this one, para ilagay sa crease. Okay, there you are. Okay, so since... Um, very pigmented nga ito. In fairness naman sa kanya, may kumapit na palette sa brush. So, I'll just put it here all over my crease. And then just blend it properly. Okay, so what I like in this brush Eh, since konti lang yung product na kumakapit sa kanya, mas nakokontrol mo yung kulay na nailalagay sa eye, sa eye, sa eyes, sa mata mo. Susunod naman, magka-cut crease tayo, kahit di tayo magaling sa cut crease na yan, but we will try. So, I have this concealer here at ilalagay ko lang siya sa lid area. And then, iseset natin siya ng loose powder. Milon ka? Ako yung milon ba? Tapos tayo. Naitara? This time, I will use this brush para maglagay ng kulay sa inner corner ng aking mata. And I will use this color. Malapit ba siya? Which one? Saan yung malapit? Ah, I think this one. Okay, so let's try. Okay, so I decided to mix these two color. Going to the middle. Alright. So, there. Okay, so I think I did it. Alright, so dito naman sa outer corner ng ating lid, I will use this fluffy brush and I will get this, gusto ko yung purple or your almost color nito. So I think I'll just mix um, this one, I think this and something like purple. So let's try. And this one. Okay, so I mixed this purple shade and this one. I don't know what do you call that color. And I'll just put it here on the corner. Alright, so to clean the harsh edges, pati na din yung sa middle, I will use this brush para i-blend silang dalawa. Okay, so I'll go back on this brush para linisin yung ating crease. And then, I will use another brush para gumawa ng 
linea from the lead, separating the lead and the crease. So, ito na naman ang aking problema. Hindi gaano kumukuha ng kulay. Alright. And then, we are going to clean that with another brush. Kasi dapat magamit natin ang lahat ng brushes natin. Okay. So, I think yan na yung eye makeup natin. And I'll just do the other side. Alright. So, I'm done with my eye makeup. I just put an eyeliner in and of course our false lashes and this time tatanggalin na natin ang ating binake so much baking already and since wala nga tayong um, brush para sa mukha i'll make use of this fan brush and it's small pa talaga but we will try if kaya niya bang alisin yung loose powder sa mukha natin ayan so i think okay naman siya Pero maganda pa rin talaga yung brush na malaki at saka yung stiff at saka yung makapal kesa sa dito sa manipis na fan brush. But, well, wala na tayong magagawa. Yan lang yung brush natin. Alright, so that's it. Ayan, mabilis ko naman siyang natanggal in fairness. Okay, so let's contour our face. Actually, nagamit ko na lahat ng ating brushes. So, para sa contour, maghahanap tayo. I'll use this. Ito, ito naman yung uh, pinakamakapal sa kanila na um, eyeshadow brush. So, ito na lang din gagamitin natin for contour sa ating ilong. But, ang gusto ko sana ay yung pabilog na ano. But, We'll try if it works. Ayan. So, I think okay naman. Kaso, ang pag-blending lang. Blending talaga. Well, why my chickens are in my chicken? There. Ayan, so masyadong obvious ang kanyang line. Grabe naman yung ilong ko. <laughs> Sumobra ata ang ating pagkukotour sa ilong. Okay, ayan. So, ayan. So, sa ating highlight, kukunin natin itong lightest color dito sa Jaclyn Hill Palette. At kakamayin na lang natin siya. Well, we can use the fan brush, but I think hindi siya nakakakuha ng kulay. We'll just try. Ayan. So, can you see it? Ayan. Mm -hmm. So, ayun nga. Ito ang problema sa kanya. Kasi parang masyado siyang plastic. Kaya hindi siya gaano nakakakuha ng kulay at matagal. Whereas, kung gagamitin natin yung kamay natin, ayan, o, oh, ayan na. ba? Diba? Ayan, so, matagal siyang makakuha ng kulay. Ayan. Pero, kung gusto mo naman yung pakonti-konti lang, pwede naman siya, kasi, ang nakukuha niya ay konti lang. Ayan. So, dito, Ayan. Lagyan din natin ang ating ano bang tawag dito na part. Ayan siya. Kasi yan yung mga nag-highlight kapag may magandang ilaw. There you are. Alright, so this is the look that I've made using these brushes.
And my final thoughts about this. Okay. So, yun nga, as what I have said kanina, since masyadong obvious na synthetic siya, yun na nga yung worry ko, which is hindi siya gaanong nakakakuha ng product. As you can see, there are brushes na nakikita nyo ang kulay sa kanya, but when in terms in transferring it on my skin, konting-konti lang yung nailalagay niya kahit na very pigmented yung aking Jaclyn Hill palette. Which is good naman kung gusto nyo ng pakonti-konti lang na product ang ilalagay sa mukha nyo or konting color lang ang ilalagay sa mukha nyo which is controllable siya kapag konti-konti lang. But, if you really wanted to get that very vibrant and colorful na makeup, Matagal kayong matatapos sa brush na ito unlike sa Anclutes brushes which is I always use and you obviously magagamit mo ito in decorating your um your area kung saan yung gusto siyang i-display if you have a makeup room or if you have a studio magagamit mo talaga siya pang decorate kasi napakaganda ng kulay niya ayan siya. I got this brushes from a friend na nakatira sa America tapos nagpadala siya ng mga you know balikbayan boxes at saka iba pang products na binebenta niya at kasali din ito so I just wish na meron siyang kasamang face brushes para naman kumpleto siya, di ba? Alright, so that's it in today's video. I hope you like it. Please subscribe on my YouTube channel to join the Sunshine family. Click that bell button for you to be notified whenever I post new videos. Thank you very much, my Sunshine family, for always watching my videos. And I hope I will see you again on the next one. Goodbye!